Be Me, 19 and in Afghanistan. Part of the EOD, the Explosive Ordnance Disposal. Yes, the guys from Hurt Locker. No, the movie is not accurate. In EOD training, we had an instructor that we like to call Sergeant Dickhead. Treated us newly enlisted like shit. Nicknamed us babies. He openly favored the returning Iraqi vets, obviously, but he singled me out the most. Always rode me for the smallest mistakes, made my existence miserable. Sergeant Dickhead was a disgusting man. He loved to eat during lessons. His favorite was eating straight out of a can of refried beans. He would pull me aside and scream at me for about the smallest mistakes I made, after which I would find flecks of bean spit in my uniform for weeks. Finally, get to our graduation ceremony. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna be rid of Sergeant Dickhead and get to see some real action. Sergeant Dickhead makes a big deal at our graduation about how I barely passed. He singles me out and embarrasses me in front of everyone. Fucking Sergeant Dickhead. Finally, get flown out to FOB Asadabad. Quickly discover EOD is mostly just sitting around. Occasionally get some work, but usually turns out to be nothing. However, we did run into some major IEDs. I even succeeded in defusing one on my own. Because of my outstanding work, I got promoted to Corporal. Take that, Sergeant Dickhead. But one day, I got woken up at 5 a.m. We have a red alert. Rushed over to the local Pashtun village. Those are the guys from uh, Lone Survivor. They're pretty cool. A fucking huge IED. This mission is so important, Sergeant Dickhead himself is making a guest appearance. He's my partner for this defusal. Fucking great. We slowly approach the IED with our bomb suits. Up close, it appears pretty shoddily constructed. If Sergeant Dickhead cooperates, then we can have it defused in no time. Suddenly, a cell phone goes off, and Sergeant Dickhead shoves me violently aside, and a fucking massive explosion rings out. I wake up after an unknown period of unconsciousness. A bunch of soldiers are surrounding Sergeant Dickhead. As I make my way past them, I learn what happened. The IED was set off from a remote location. Sergeant Dickhead shoved me aside, then jumped on top of it. Sergeant Dickhead saved my life. I see him on the ground in a pool of deep red blood. No arms or legs, barely a head and torso. He calls for me by my name. I lean in close, prepared for one final insult, and he whispers, I was always proudest of you. He then slumps over and dies, laying there curled up in a green bomb suit. He looks like a big lima bean, a real human bean and a real hero.